Hello. Okay, so today we're playing with alcohol inks and lift ink. So the lift ink. And it's real nice on this one because we do some letters in there. So as if people are talking and we wish hope and love. And the nice thing too is this is actually a Christmas dye. So, or Christmas thinlet. So we're just utilizing them at a different time of the year, which is really nice. We use alcohol inks and um, got a vintage thread here, but you can use whatever you have. And the main component is on metallic, which the metallic is actually a non-porous surface. So if you don't scratch or distress this, the lift ink works on it. So join me and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please subscribe. Uh, have a great day. Okay, let's get, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I've got some metallic here. This is like a mushroom kind of rosy color. And I've just got some blues and some greens. So I've got the darker and a lighter of each of the colors and then browns representing the water, trees, and then, you know, uh, woods, mountains, whatever. So I'm just going to start with the lights and just get them out. That was pebble. We've got uh, lettuce. I've got some aquamarine. And then I'm just going to use my tool here and just kind of I don't know, just move it around a little bit. And then let's see, I've got, let's go with the darker color. So here's stream, pesto, and teak wood. Same thing. And now we're going to do a lift because on the metallic, and then this we're going to do the earth here, a globe. But on the metallic, the it's a non-porous, so it will lift. So what I've got here is the stamps from, what is this one? theories. Um, I like, oops, one's upside down. A couple of them are. I like just the sayings in here and I was looking for just some words um, that we could lift. Don't necessarily have to be able to read them, but because I don't have like a background stamp for, you know, all, all occasions. I only have um, seasonal Christmas ones, but that should work. And I kind of lined them up thinking about how we're going to die cut. So I really only needed to concentrate like in this big area. Okay. So now let's get the lift ink going. Let's slide these out of the way. Lift ink here. Something like that's going to work. Now, the trick with the lift ink is you need to be able to. to be able to lift it off first without smudging. So I'm getting this nice and juicy over here. And there we go. And I can see it worked. Gosh, I dropped my platform and now it's just acting up on me and then now I've got a brayer which Paula Cheney came up with this I didn't this isn't my original so see you can see the ink here it's lifting up 
do it again just to make sure and so you're really just lifting at this point the excess ink that's on there can't be too safe than sorry or to rather be too safe than sorry okay so now you can see it coming up a little bit I've got a really soft t-shirt here and I'm just gonna gently let me see can I still see nope I'm gonna gently start rubbing and that's coming up even more so it's just proof that you don't have to have you bow because this metallic here is also non-porous so there we go and then over here I can take and just this is my index card I'm going to be using today let's just do it on the back side here and now that's permanent because I'm just cleaning off my stamps nice give those a quick wipe down okay now let me go die cut this and I'll be right back okay so I really like hope wish love and I think that would look really cool right along here even though this is technically for Christmas ornaments I think it's going to be just fine and I like the aquamarine in this color so I'm just gonna, I've got some alcohol ink cardstock here, which it's basically just glossy cardstock. And we're just gonna start putting down some color. Uh, let's do that and then a little bit, uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of brown. So I'm just looking for something to contrast what's going on here. Not much of the teak wood because it's gonna be quite powerful. start blooming and then let's go with one more lighter maybe like the patina or even strangely enough this uh, cracked pistachio looks blue but it's actually more of a green this might end up being too dark and looking too much like the, the planet so it may not work we'll have to see blending solution on there. Maybe it'll move a little bit more. Yep. Okay, so they're all cut out. I ran it through my small Xyron machine. Now I'm just rubbing them to make sure that the sticky isn't all over the place is usually an issue I have with the Xyron but with those pieces being so small I didn't want to fuss with any kind of glue so I did run off also the piece which I don't know if it's going to be too Christmassy so I don't know for sure if I'm going to use that one maybe if we put some embossing on it or something it'll help but let's get this lined up and on here Again, the white just cut from the um, alcohol ink cardstock, too. That's why it's so shiny. need to get a square element in there. It's looking all too round, isn't it? Okay, so let's get this cut down. I'm thinking I like it probably right around here. So let's get it glued down. 
and then we'll cut off it like that and then I don't know about the piece I don't know maybe if we slide these out over more maybe here piece no nope, I think it's just too much Okay, so I decided I like this here. That's my square element. So I'm going to tack it down. And then I also grab some of my vintage um, embroidery thread. I think that's what it was used for anyway. Um, so that goes there. And then I'm just going to add just a few accents. This is a honker of a needle, so I could get all three colors in there which these colors are, let's see, number 69 is the green, looks like a 40 for the navy, and then this one is 47. And I'm just going to do some real loose X's. Nothing fancy, just enough to add just that, uh, you know, one more element of, hey, yep, I did a little detailing too, you know what I mean? So So we're almost done here. If you could subscribe, like the video, watch some more. Um, just let me know you're out there and watching because it's so hard. It's a lot of work and if I'm not, you know, if I don't know people are watching, I won't continue to make them, you know. It's just kind of as much as I like teaching and showing others, it's a lot of work and I don't mind if I know people are watching. So let's just cut this off. Oh. It's so fragile I could have just ripped it, but there. That's all done. Oh, I need my edging. And there we go. It's all done. Turned out pretty cool.